Former Manchester United heroes Mark Hughes and Brian Kidd were two of the big names at this week's 36th annual golf day organised by the former players association, the AFMUP, the association of former Manchester United players. Coming up, we'll be hearing from Clayton Blackmore, the Red, who's becoming a master of the fairways. I turned professional five or six years ago to try and get on the senior tour. And big Joe Corrigan, the Blue, who is one of City's greatest ever goalkeepers. We support one another, we both have our golf days, we both have our dinners, so we, you know, we, we come across and support the United lads and the United lads come when we have our golf day, do the same and it's been going on for a few years now. As always, Ex-City and United players attended this popular event. Martin Buchan, Wes Brown, Alex Stepney and Arthur Albison were among those flying the flag for United and it was all in a good cause. Money was being raised for charity through the sale of artwork by the hugely talented Stuart Beckett. Many pieces are signed by the legends and there's always a fabulous collection. Please get in touch if you want advance notice of future masterpieces offered for auction. The event, as always, was staged at Sir Matt Busby's favourite golf course in Northenden. And for the newly retired Brian Kidd, it was a chance to show there's life after football. One former player who's already made the transition from the football pitch is Clayton Blackmore. It's quite tough because I don't play enough really to be off scratch but um, I turned professional five or six years ago to try and get on the senior tour but obviously with Covid and I've actually started a family up a few years ago as well so it's hard to get the practice in. But today it was quite a relief to get out wasn't it because the weather wasn't looking good. Yeah it looked like it was going to last down all day but it, you know we had, we had a bit of rain at the start but you know we got through that so it was okay, not too bad. It's great to see what the former players do. You, you have annual dinners as well as the golf, of course, and you've raised a lot of money for charity. It's been going on for years, and uh, obviously Alan's doing a great job there. And I even got Mark to come back today. Mark Hughes, he's over in Abbasock. And they, so he's drove all the way back, and he's driving back tonight. You know, it's great for somebody like Mark Hughes to come and show his face here, play a bit of golf. What I like about your generation is that when you finish playing, you, you almost become like fans again. Yeah, well, I think I think everybody's like that. I mean, you're a fan when you're a kid. You know, I've always loved United, so and once you finish playing, you're obviously going to support them and you want them to do well all the time. Kiddo is fantastic. I mean, I actually I remember speaking to Kiddo to try and get him to be man the second uh, in command at United because he was gonna he was he didn't want to do it. I think he was under 14s at the time. So uh, we had a chat and we were just saying, look, you just got to set the goals up and join in with the football. And uh, the rest is history. He was number two to Sir Alex and then obviously moved on to Blackburn and then City. We've had quite a few players who've played for United and City, but Kiddo will always be a legend for scoring in the European Cup final. At 18, on his birthday. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable, you know, when you're that age. I mean, he is. I mean, I remember, tr obviously, we trained with him. Obviously, when he was assistant, he didn't just do the five-a-side and sort things out. He was doing deliveries. We were doing crossing and finishing, and his delivery was impeccable. One of the best crossers of the ball, and really, he was a centre forward. I've got the impression that he's always been a player's player, insofar that the young guys have always looked up to him when they've been coming through. Yeah, I think so. I mean, when you've done so much in a game, I mean, at 18, he'd done as much as you can do, really, for your club team. You know, you've won the biggest trophy. You know, you're always going to look up to somebody like that. He's playing alongside the greats like Bobby and Bestie, Dennis Law. But every time you watch them, he was always scoring alongside them. We were always talking about them, but he's, funnily enough, he was always scoring in them games. He was a fantastic player. Great servant for both teams. He stood right behind you at the moment, just coming in on the 18. Uh, great man. Really, really pleased at how he's done successful in everything that he's done in football. And it's, it's sad in a way that he's he's retired, but I'm sure, knowing Brian, he'll uh, he'll want he'll be itching to get back in some capacity. He's a good golfer as well. He's a bandit, by the way, but he's uh, he's a good golfer. In first place with a score which will never be beaten on a Northern Golf Day here of 107 points. Brian Kidd got 46. Uh, Dean Morris got 42. Uh, Dean Duggan got 36, and Phil Farrell, well, I don't know who he is, right, but he ended up with 38, so the total score was 107, so the winners today are Phil Farrell's team.
Speech from the winning team. Thank you for hosting such a wonderful, wonderful event. I only found out this morning that we were actually going to be playing with Brian Kidd. What a golfer. Some people would call him a bandit, I'm sure. Uh, but top man, top man, really humble. It's been a really good day. Overwhelming, in fact. Just fantastic, really. So thank you to everyone. And well organised things going on at the end, yeah. So thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay. Well, Cheers. So Brian Kidd's team take the winner's prize at the 36th annual golf day staged by the Association of Former Manchester United Players. Kiddo, a popular winner who picked up his prize early so he could get home in good time to watch the football. It was a night Italy beat Spain to claim their meeting with England in the final of the Euros. The legend, the legend, Alan Warble, live. The voice of Old Trafford from Northern and Golf Club, and, and the, the the voice of Old Trafford. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> hey, we've got the voice of Old Trafford and the voice of Old Trafford. Of Old Trafford.